Why use mid-journey? If you're still creating images the old way, you're wasting hours, days, and even weeks of your life, and you don't even realize it. The game has changed. Major brands, creative directors, professional designers, and even Hollywood are quietly adopting AI tools to create stunning visuals in seconds. But most creative professionals, they're stuck in the mindset of doing it the old way, the hard way. You don't even realize it, but you could be left behind as the creative industry moves forward with tools like MidJourney. According to the State of Creativity report from 2024 from Adobe, 82% of creatives are currently using and plan to continue using generative AI, with 74% believing it is helping them work more efficiently. These aren't just graphic designers either. Interior designers, architects, small businesses, and even companies like Coca-Cola use AI tools to iterate and create faster. Imagine this, you're a designer. A client gives you some instructions, usually starting with do something cool, and you have a tight deadline. Before AI tools, this meant plugging in long hours as you brainstorm, sketch, search stock images, and new around in Photoshop for hours. It's frustrating, it's exhausting, and it's totally unnecessary. Here's the shocking truth. Most creative professionals don't realize they are doing things the hard way. AI power design isn't just for tech nerds, it's for you. And once you see what's possible, you'll never go back. How do I know this? Because I've lived it. I have an art degree. I was an art director for 14 years. I faced the demons of impossible deadlines and picky clients. Sure, I was extremely skeptical when AI design tools came out a few years ago, but as I was curious, I started playing with them all. Midjourney is the AI image generator platform that clearly creates the best images of all the platforms. I'm a really picky guy and I know what works and what does it. I don't wanna waste my time as that is my most important asset. Let's test this. I'll create a professional level graphic in only a few minutes, which would have taken hours before AI. I'll do it unedited. And if you stick around, you can see how quickly I iterate ideas at work and discard ideas that don't. Then we'll take the file for mid-journey and process it for use, and you'll see how easily it will slide into my workflow to complete a project. Ready? Let's jump into mid-journey. So let's create a project. Uh, the local animal shelter is one of your clients, and they want a series of t-shirts featuring four different dogs uh, with their logo, right? So. They've given you the animal, the, the types of animals that they want to use, uh, which is a Jack Russell Terrier, a Beagle, a Dachshund, and a Poodle. So what do you do next? Well, if you're like a lot of designers, what do these dogs even look like? You might have one of them, or maybe you know somebody with them, but typically we go to Google and we type in Jack Russell Terrier and stuff comes up, right? We'll go to images, we'll look at the dogs, uh, we'll maybe pick an image, right? We might even download and save it, or we might go to stock images and try to find a couple dogs that look good, and then we have to create these, right? And you're gonna do this with all four of these breeds, right? That was Jack Russell Terrier, and the next one is gonna be a, a beagle, right? We're gonna do the same thing. And we try to find these animals and try to do something with it. Then we have to interpret it for whatever we're doing, right? So that's the old way, right? Here's the new way, right? We go to Mid Journey. So this is what Mid Journey looks like. Uh, this is the website. And I've got a prompt put in here, okay? So I'm doing all four of these at once. I'm doing a Jack Russell Terrier. 
with a comma, Beagle with a comma, Dachshund with a comma, and Poodle with a comma, all in these curly brackets. This tells Midjourney, hey, work on all these at the same time. But I'm also giving Midjourney some direction here, which is I want a happy looking dog. Happy. It needs to be a drawing. It needs to look like it was done with a pencil. Very expressive. I don't want any colors. So that's why we've got monochrome in there. It needs to look like an illustration, a uh, children's book illustration. And I want it on a flat white background because we're going to put it on a white T-shirt. And then this is a, an important prompt because dash, dash, S uh, with a space gives us our level of creativity. And we've got this set for four different versions, 100, 200, 300, 400. The, the creativity level goes from zero to a thousand with zero being not much creativity at all and a thousand being the highest. So we've got the basically the first four chunks there. So when I hit go, this is going to create four for each of these uh, kind of things. And it's going to create a lot of images. Now I have the highest level of mid journey set up. And uh, so you can see it really creates uh, images incredibly quickly. And what we're looking for is something that we can use uh, and we can go with, and it's going to be great for our T-shirt, right? And uh, so as we're mid-journey is creating these, it's co completing the stuff. So let's just go ahead and check some of these out. Let's we'll stop here at the top. Um, and these are the images that are a poodle, right? So we really just wanted a headshot. So even though that's the full body, we're looking for really just headshots, okay? Um, so Midjourney gives us a bunch of these different ones. Some of these look better than others. Uh, and it's really kind of, it, this one's still actually generating. So um, it's really interesting what it gives us. And uh, so it's a lot of fun to go through these. Now this is the, the Dachshunds and it's this one's still kind of completing, right? Um, now again, this is all about the level of creativity. Um, and, uh, so some of these are just ridiculous, but this is kind of the fun part here is to see what can we use and what can't we use that type of stuff. Right. So as I'm scrolling through these, I kind of see some of these that I like, um, and here's the great thing is that I can always regenerate more. I can always ask it to do different things. Um, and we can also do some editing right in here, right in this platform. Right. So. Let's go ahead all the way down and let's pick some that we really like. I'm just looking for headshots. So uh, what do we get? I kind of like that one, right? Um, so let's download this one. And let's find a dachshund headshot that we like. Let's scroll up a little bit. Oh, oh I'm sorry. We got beagles. Is there a beagle one that we really like that looks cute? And here's the cool thing about Mid Journey. Let's say we don't see any we like. We just we could just rerun it, right? Um, or we could uh, we could do subtle or strong changes, and that creates more images for us. Let's go back to that later. Let's see if we can find a Dachshund one. That, oh, I like that one. That looks really cute. Let's download that. Let's we'll see if we can find a poodle head that we like. Now, what we really wanted was just a headshot because um, we're doing uh, a, just a T-shirt. And the reason we wanted this kind of pencil graphite look is that it just looks really fun. It doesn't look too polished. It looks like something a volunteer might draw, right? I like this one. And, of course, we could play with these for a long time and edit and, and do some different things. But we're really just looking for some things to start with. We want to show our client uh, some ideas just to get um, their reaction to see what they think. Maybe we'll do them with a full body. Let's do just one with a full body and see what they think about that. All right, now that we've got these, let's go ahead and throw it into our program, and then we'll set everything up with the client's logo. All right, now we're going to assemble 
our designs and it's going to be really super easy. So I've got my artboard set up here. I just go and grab my client's logo, copy it, paste it. I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. Make sure it's lined up centered. And then it's pretty easy. I just grab each of each of these different uh, images, right? And we're going to make it full size on the t-shirt. That's one. That's a little big here. And here's the final one. And even though they asked for headshots, uh, I think this one's really cute and would look good. And it's sometimes it's good to give the client a little something they don't expect just because, you know, that's the way it is, right? So let's check all of these out, right? So here's our first one, the Jack Russell Terrier. Here's the second one with the Beagle. Here's the Dachshund. And then here's the Poodle, right? So that's four designs that we created in a matter of just a couple minutes. It's really easy to do this type of stuff when you have a program like Midjourney. And I think it's really important to understand that, you know, I used to spend hours creating art for projects, you know, and then only have clients, you know, um, want to make revisions or decide to go in a different direction. I'm sure that's happened to you right now. I can generate four images it, it, like no problem at all. It's really super easy. And Midjourney gives you the tools to accomplish that. So here's something to think about, you know, while you're watching this, while you're watching this video, uh, other creatives like me are mastering tools like Midjourney, right? Um, we're the folks that are getting ahead. We're the folks that are going to be doing things at way faster than normal. Okay. And let me tell you the ones that, who wait, the ones that are too afraid to work on stuff like this, to experiment and do things and try to see if these tools fit with how that you work. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, but you need to at least try. Um, they're the ones that are going to get left behind, right? And I don't want to see that happen to you, right? So I want you to imagine something, right? I want you to imagine sending your client, let's say they were the animal shelter, right? Polished ideas in a matter of minutes instead of a matter of hours, right? This is where the creative industry is heading. And of course, this is just a t-shirt design. You might be doing other things in marketing or uh, industrial design or architecture, interior design, whatever, okay? It doesn't have to be graphics like this because Mid Journey does all of that, right? That's happening right now. And if you want to learn more, if you want to jump in and learn all about Mid Journey, well, the good news is that we have a community uh, right in the description. Um, there's a link. I would love you to click that. This is a safe space for you to learn how to use this tool alongside other professional creatives to learn how to use Mid Journey properly. What are the best practices? How do you solve problems quickly? Um, there's friends in there waiting for you right now to learn how to do it. And that also comes with a weekly newsletter that gets 